Rick Hollander has a lifetime full of achievements of community building and of family. But he still found room in his heart to give a little more. We give some laughs. <laughs> Walking around the school is amazing in the sense that wide-eyed, smiling, energy, and they're soaking up the passion. And I look at the role models they have here in the Yeshiva Day School, and I can only hope they turn out to be the persons that, that their rabbis are. From YDLV Productions comes a story of a man and a school. Oh, this is great. It's like chest is checking out chest, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Can we, can we match them up? Can we do a, a quick match? Uh, let's see, Yehuda. Of champions and triumphs. This Yeshiva Day School is professional. It is well organized. It is, they're always fighting for funding, but they're doing exactly what their mission is. They're not deviating from it. They're not trying to be all things to all people. They have a, a task that they've set out to do and it's great to see them busting at the seams doing it. Good job. Guys, so I'm humiliated by a sixth grader, seventh grader. Uh, fifth grader. <laughs> fifth grader. 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 Fifth of new adventures. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Rashi's coming. Rashi's coming. Guys, make some room for the car. I have no communic knowledge to speak of, but to see seventh grade kids, boys, and eighth grade boys sitting across the table, arguing interpretation um, for me out of a movie like Gentle or something. It, it's just fantastic to see something continued on. Caricatures of the kids always want to cover, which is honor, order, God's humility, passion, humility, beautiful things. That's what it was. Hey! And of giving with heart. I'm Rick. You're Rick? I'm Rick. <laughs> Rick Hollander possessed the passion to overcome it all. It's just about the kids. It's all about the kids. And if we plant the right seeds with them now, we're gonna grow some incredibly fertile forests for our world. What is this? Great. I don't have an easy answer for why Jewish education is important. But I see that as we build this tent um, and we go forward with it, we all come to the same common denominator. And for those who, who are of an hope that's a little different than mine, much more uh, traditional. It's a wonderful place to continue on the traditions. A story of hope and the future. How many kids are you now? It's only a school. It's 166. <laughs> Four years ago, you had 80? Yeah, like 90, yeah. <laughs> We need a building. We do. <laughs> we do. For years, Rick Hollander found a way to make a difference. And of all the lives he changed, the one that changed the most was his own. When you're on the ground here and you see the kids' faces and you look them in the eyes, it's what always motivated me. And I didn't get many of that through those years, and it's only in recent years. Well, now you're starting to see the fruits of the way awesome. It's wonderful. 
Mr. Hollander's opus. Find a passion. Find something you feel is important to help your community and just give a little bit back. Coming soon to theaters near you. Rick is unique. He's been involved with the Jewish community for many years, somehow always avoiding the limelight. When we tried to thank him for his instrumental role in getting the West Side preschool off the ground, he couldn't fathom what we were talking about. Mazel tov, Rick, on this well-deserved honor. Thank you so much for all that you have done for Yeshiva Day School and its students.